Okay, this is the part I like. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut our sheetrock and install our sheetrock patches. Now what I did originally, I wasn't quite sure if we were going to need half inch sheetrock for the walls. Sometimes you got half inch sheetrock on the ceilings, 5 8 sheetrock. So what I did when I went to the hardware store, I made sure I have a patch, uh, a patch piece of sheetrock for 5 8 and also for half inch. I'm glad I did that because all of our patches uh, on the wall and the two on the ceiling are 5 8 sheetrock. So I'm not, ultimately I'm not going to use any half inch sheetrock for this project, but I'm, I was glad that I had it anyway. So I'm gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the sheetrock and then I'm going to show you how to cut it. Okay, this is the patch piece of sheetrock we're going to utilize to make our cuts. As you can see, what I've done is I've, I've just taken a little scrap and I've marked my three pieces. This is kind of like what I usually do. That way I've just got a template for all. Now, now I'm pretty much set to go. So what I'm going to do is make my first cut. I'm going to utilize uh, just a level for a straight edge. So I'm going to take a sharp sheetrock knife blade. I'm going to line this up. Well, I'm going to cut this all the way across. We're going to save this piece, but we're going to cut this all the way across. We're not going to make a notch because it's too hard to cut the sheetrock that way. So just kind of hold that down. I'm going to score this. I usually score it twice. And I'm just going to extend this over. And then I turn this over. And, and I'm going to snap this back. So. The cut's right in here, so I'm just going to lift this up like that. I can flip this up and cut it like that, or I can leave it. I can leave it down here. I can lift it up, just score this like that. That's so we make our first cut. Now we're going to cut make this next cut here. So I'm just going to. Use the level again for a straight edge. Turn that over and pop it. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we cut sheetrock. Okay, after you cut it, what I use is this little cheese grater. So it's, it's a rasp, is, is what it really is. And you're just going to uh, clean off the edges because when you cut the sheetrock, uh, some of the gypsum doesn't. Uh, cut straight, pop off straight. So you just take this and clean off the edge all the way around your cuts. Really easy to do. Like that. Okay, now we got our first patch. Uh, the other thing I wanted to, to tell you too is whatever size your measurement is, uh, always make your sheetrock just a little bit smaller. You don't want to make it so tight that it's not going to fit the first time uh, because we're going to have sh uh, sheetrock tape that fits all around it. So just, you know, if you got a size and you measure 14 inches, cut it 13 and 7 eighths or something like that. Look at your overall 14, 13 and 15 16 eighths, make it 13 and 7 eighths you, and you'll be fine. It will fit the first time. Okay, one more demonstration on cutting. I've got a smaller patch now. I'm using just a little piece of sheetrock that I cut off the other piece. I've already made some marks on the sheetrock. Using this for a sheetrock approach. Cut that all the way, even though I need this piece, cut that all the way off first. Off that, score it on the back. There's paper on the back and there's paper on the front. The rest of it breaks once you score and It's always important to cut from the front side. It's a lot easier to cut from the front side of the sheetrock instead of the back. Okay, here's my next cut. This is 5 8 sheetrock, so it, so it sometimes it's kind of hard to break because it's thicker, especially for a smaller piece. Just kind of put a little pressure on it. Score the back gently. Okay, here's my next piece. And I'm just going to clean off the edges. Okay, we got one more piece to cut, but it's basically the same way that we just did this one. 